We were eager to have anyone come in that could help us get over this hump because whatever we were doing, it wasn't working. We were looking at, wasn't it nine, nine heel wounds when we first started. We wanted the staff to be able to, at a glance, know that the, the particular resident was at risk for heel wounds. So we initiated, with the help of Mr. Leone, that we used bright pillowcases. The pillows they knew were used for offloading. And so once we did that, we did it neighborhood by neighborhood, and we had an in-service with our CNAs to let them know how to use the boot and what the pillowcases were exactly for. One of the things that we learned in this whole process was the word offloading and a lot of our CNAs didn't understand what offloading meant. And so during the in-service that we give the CNAs and the nurses, um, we explained because we would ask them, did you offload their heels? And they were like, what? And so we had to explain the actual term offloading to them and uh, let them know that that was actually to get their heels off the bed and off their pressure points. And it was like the light bulb just turned on. Being open to what was suggested and what he said and everybody just jumping on board and saying, we can make this change. I think is what turned it around for us. Not only <laughs> did he give us a lot of good ideas, but he was a cheerleader for us. We needed the encouragement. Like I said, the first meeting we were just like, oh no, what are we going to do? And he said, no, this is workable and we can do this. Set small goals for yourself because at that point we were like, they're going to see us with nine wounds, and they're never going to heal, and what are we going to do? And one of the things that he said was, give two-week goals. Give yourself two weeks and make that a goal. And, and maybe decrease in size by a half a centimeter and just do one hole at a time. And so when we started to do that, that's what made our morale boost and got our wheels turning again. And so just by having him in here and the company in here has, I mean, it's boosted us. And he's given us a lot of good ideas, a lot. Every morning um, around 10 o'clock, we have a what we call a stand-up meeting, and that's when the charge nurses, the nurse managers, the administrator, the wound nurse, everyone gets together in the morning for about 30 minutes, uh, sometimes it's longer than that, and we discuss the problems that we're having in the facility. So everybody stays informed in that process, and then what the charge nurses learn from that meeting, it's carried on to the 3 to 11, and the 3 to 11 is to carry it on to the 11 to 7. We also um, encourage our CNAs to give report to each other at each shift. So maybe a wound was found that day and the CNA can then pass it on to the next shift and say, we got this wound now. And so they carry it on throughout the shift. So we do have that stand up meeting every morning and, and it's been really beneficial and it keeps everybody in the loop. Along with us identifying our problems, we have what we call a pressure ulcer log that we keep every single week. And it is a log where it has the patient's name and the date of the onset of the wound. If they were admitted, if it was facility acquired, it has the staging, it has a whole list of things. When the doctor was notified and 
the day the family was notified and we do this every single week. I think the biggest benefit is, is I can look at this sheet versus having to go to Amar and flip through every page. I can look at a sheet and I can see the measurements of the wound. I can see if it's increased in depth or if, if, it ha if it's doing better. I, can, I know everything about that patient just by looking at this one sheet versus trying to figure out all the information and go different places. One of the things that um, Debbie, Debbie has put into place is keeping nurses aides on the same hall. That way if they work the uh, Hummingbird Cove, we want them to work that every day, every time they're here. That way they know the resident and it, it becomes a little more personal to them and they can give that individualized care because they actually know the individual that lives here. We didn't just look at their heels either, we were looking at every part of their body to make sure they weren't breaking down somewhere else. So, I mean, lab work, Doppler studies, nutrition, uh, treatments to the wounds themselves, we, we just looked at the whole picture to make sure that we were um, involving everything. You can do a treatment every day, but if they're not eating, it's, it's not going to do a lot of good if they're not getting the right nutrition. They know we care because we're talking to the residents and we're talking to the families. We're putting the interventions in place and like they said, you know, these the family members know that, that what those pillows are for, even though they want to put them under their head, they, they know what they're for. And so it makes our, our families happier, which makes our residents happier.